From the glitz of Las Vegas 2010 to the World Championships 2013 in Andover, the quaint Hampshire town, which won the bid due to the size of its leisure centre and location. Next to uh, Stonehenge, place where they've got those rocks standing up. Everyone knows Andover. <laughs> This is the ultimate combat sport, combining the grappling and throws of judo, but also the kicking and punching of boxing or karate. It's like trolls fighting. It all started in Japan in the 1500s, a way of teaching you really to tackle opponents who were armed with samurai swords and had armour on. A way of fighting without weapons. And the key to it is if someone's coming at you, you take their aggression and turn it back on themselves. It's a bit like chess, there's always a different way of taking him down. He wants to throw me, I want to punch him, he wants to counter that. And at first glance, while it may look brutal, you punch and kick to score points, not to hurt. It's meant to be controlled. It's a fight, but technical fight, rather than just trying to beat the loser, lulas out of each other. Despite that, there were some casualties at the World Championships. However, this Canadian girl fought on before losing to one of the new British champions, who hopes she'll now inspire more women to come into the sport. Go! Unfortunately, it's not enough women do it. I think they get put off by the blood all over the suits and things. But actually, it's a very technical sport when you're doing it for training purposes. So this bit gets a bit barbaric, but you have to pull your punches. You're supposed to be controlled. The first thing you learn as a beginner is how to fall. Michelle's going to teach me that. So, Michelle, I'm going for a move. Oh, you've got me. Break the balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you've mastered that, you can go for an attack. So it's a case of getting the legs in, bringing your opponent round, and then even going for an arm lock and putting a strike in. Although I'm going to go easy because Michelle here is one of the most feared competitors in the world. Just like the heavyweight Tiny is. And having seen his power at first hand, I was surprised that an increasing number of youngsters are keen to tackle this sport in which, well, size doesn't always matter. Hi there, you're seven, I believe. Why do you love this sport? <laughs> It was only a simple question. I want to do something so I get out of the house. I was being bullied and now I've learned how to do it and to defend myself. He's, he finds a way when he sees me. Well, he runs away now. It's already taught the members of this local jiu-jitsu club discipline and self-defence. And now they've seen what it takes to be a world champion as well.